Friday is a little venture. We're reading Pete the Cat, the first Thanksgiving by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat, the first Thanksgiving. Pete was nervous about being a pilgrim in his class this Thanksgiving play, the first Thanksgiving. Just do your best, his friend Callie said. Happy Thanksgiving, Pete. Said he would try. He was ready. His mom had even made him a pilgrim hat, which was totally cool. There it is in his locker. Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class had made out of cardboard. Pete was a pilgrim on the Mayflower. Ooh. In 1620, a group of pilgrims decided to leave England for the New World to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship. All the pilgrims sang. The sea was rough and very dangerous. Many pilgrims got very, very sick. The dream of New Start and New World made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the pilgrims sailed. The set sail on the 6th. They wondered if they would ever get there. September, October, November. After 65 days on the ship, the New World finally came into view. Land ho! He cried. All the pilgrims did a happy dance. Land ho! Yay! The pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock in what is now Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food, finding water, and building shelters. The first winter in the New World was long and hard. In the spring, the pilgrims had to decide whether to give up and go back to England or keep trying. And the pilgrims had heard about the Native Americans, and many were that they would, be, they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought they would be kind. And they were. Pete was right. He made a new friend, and Squanto, Squanto, and the other Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn, beans, and squash. By some of the pilgrims had learned how to farm the new land. By fall harvest, the pilgrims had plenty of food. Thanks, Pondo and the other Native Americans, the pilgrims invited them to share their harvest. The ce celebration became known as the first Thanksgiving. Pete was relieved when the play was over. He had remembered all his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, said Pete. You did great, Callie said. Oh, sorry, guys. Later at Thanksgiving dinner with his family, Pete said, let's go around the table and say something we are thankful for. I'm thankful for my family, said Pete's mom. I'm thankful for my skateboard, said Bob. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the brave pilgrims that started this new free world, says Pete. The end.